In this video, I'm going to tell you about six superb Tom Cruise movies that you should watch. Hey, it's me AP and welcome back to another video. So six superb Tom Cruise movies. I'm a big fan of Tom Cruise. I, I think he's had some great movies over the years, whether it be action movies, whether it be sci-fi movies. I think he's, he's a great actor. Uh, I, I know some people, uh, I feel like a bit like he's like a Marmite sort of at there. Some people love him, some people hate him. Uh, I, I really like Tom Cruise, so I think he's a great at there, and I like the movies he is in most of the time. Uh, so I thought I'd show some of the movies today in six superb movies. So I hope you do enjoy the selections today, ladies and gents. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the picks. So the first Tom Cruise movie I want to discuss is War of the Worlds. And this starts a love for me of Tom Cruise sci-fi movies. I think he has some really good sci-fi movies out there. And War of the Worlds is a really fun watch. Uh, I think the you know the set pieces throughout this movie, the, the story of the aliens, the, the design of the, the aliens is all great. I like the story throughout this as well. I think it's a really good story. Some really good action pieces. Uh, I feel like the ending is kind of a bit flattening, but I feel like, you know, even though it's got this sort of like flat ending, it's not like a great spectacular ending, the story throughout really makes it a good watch of a movie. You know, I really enjoyed it. It's got, it's a great entertaining movie, this one by Steven Spielberg. I really enjoy it. I think it's a great Tom Cruise movie to watch, a really good sci-fi movie, a superb film. So the next movie I want to discuss is Rain Man, starring Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise. And this is the story of two brothers and one of the brothers didn't know the other one existed. So uh, Tom Cruise character Charles, uh, Charlie in this film, uh, he discovers he has a brother named Raymond Ray, who is autistic. And um, basically... It's a really nice coming together story of two brothers getting to know each other on this road and we see them going to Vegas, betting on laws of money because Raymond is great with numbers. He's just got a super mind. Uh, I, I think it's a great story. I, I really enjoy specifically Dustin Hoffman's acting in this, but I think partnered with Tom Cruise's uh, like charisma of his character, it just really blends well with the two characters. I think it's a really enjoyable movie. Uh, it's one I will. Oh, I always go back to Rayman. I think it's a great watch, and it's definitely a superb Tom Cruise movie. The next Tom Cruise movie I want to discuss is Mission Impossible Three. Now, I like all of the Mission Impossible movies, but I feel like Three is sort of like it rebooted the franchise. It gave it a, a kick in a new direction, but it was a more positive direction for the franchise and I feel like it's where the franchise is now. Uh, you have J.J. Abrams directing this movie and it starts the movie with his character of Ethan Hunt, Tom Cruise's character Ethan Hunt being retired and then it, the journey starts there but you've you've got this movie mixed in with a really incredible uh, director in J.J. Abrams, a really great villain in Philip Seymour Hoffman in this movie. It's just a great Mission Impossible movie. It's, it's all out action like all the rest of the movies. Uh, but I feel like, it, again, it, is just, it just takes this franchise in a new direction and it's a really great direction and I really enjoy this spy movie. Next on my list is Oblivion and in this movie Tom Cruise stars as Jack Harper. He is a technician on Earth, he goes around fixing up these drones basically and in this world that is set in the future it's, it's sort of shown that the the world was attacked and the moon was attacked by these scavengers and basically he goes around in this world not really knowing his past but he has to you know repair these drones and there's a lot of like mystery around what is really going on in the world and in his location and it's a really interesting story i really enjoy this movie i think it's got a really great soundtrack um, I, I really enjoyed the soundtrack, but I think it's just a really in enjoyable movie, a really good sci-fi movie from Tom Cruise again, and it is one I would always go back to again. It's just a really superb film. The next movie I want to discuss is Edge of Tomorrow, otherwise known in some places as Live, Die, Repeat, and this is a really, really cool sci-fi movie starring Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt, and basically... To sort of sum this movie up, it's kind of like 
a really sci-fi version, a big sci-fi version, blockbuster version of Groundhog Day. Uh, it's Groundhog Day with aliens. Uh, Tom Cruise's character, Major William Cage, is like this media representative of the army and basically he gets thrown into combat along the way in this story and then he gets attacked by this alien that gives him sort of like this uh, Groundhog Day like power where he just goes in a time loop on the same day over and over again. He gets killed, he goes back to the start of this day. It's a really cool story. I like the, the concept of this time loop is really a, a good concept, I believe, I think. And it's just a really, you know, the ending and the way they, the story just continues and continues and you see him getting further in the loop uh, to try and destroy the aliens, the mimics in this, the, their aliens are called. It's just a really good story and I think it's a great performance by Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt and it's a really good sci-fi film. The last movie I want to discuss is Minority Report, uh, another sci-fi movie from Tom Cruise and another one directed by Steven Spielberg as well. Basically, to sum up the plot of Minority Report, um, Tom Cruise's character works for this federal government organisation that works on pre-crime. So basically, they stop crimes happening, so they, they look into the future using these, these free individuals called precogs. And you see this story sort of like unfold throughout the movie and then his character gets uh, basically done for a crime in the future and then there's all little twists and turns with the story throughout. It's a really good story. It's a really good science fiction story. I, I really lo I like this one. Uh, Tom Cruise just... You know, watching this movie, it just I look at him and I think he's a great action star, but he really does well in these sci-fi movies as well, watching Minority Report. It's a really good film with a really good conclusion. A great cast as well. You've got, you know, you've got Tom Cruise, you've got Colin Farrell under, Max von Sado. Really good cast and I've really enjoyed this movie and it's definitely worth watching and it, is, it really is a superb Tom Cruise movie. Thank you very much for watching this video today. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a like and check out the rest of my movie related content as well. And let me know your thoughts on this video today. Did you feel like these movies, these Tom Cruise movies were superb or do you think there's some better ones out there? Let me know your favorite Tom Cruise movies and let me know whether you are a, a Tom Cruise fan as well. It's always, I always like to find out from the community uh, your thoughts on on actors, on movies, it's always fun to just find out what other people think about uh, movies in general and actors specifically as well. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video as always ladies and gents and as always I will see you next time.